In this video, we're going to talk about creating our idea graphic organizer. So you have your enduring issues prompt in front of you. Right? Remember the prompt looks the same every time. So this graphic organizer is going to be a tool that you can use when planning for your enduring issues essay. All right, so the first thing we need to remember uh, is that this is your idea. So you're going to write down I, D, E, A across your paper. Give yourself some room in between each letter so that ultimately you can fill out your organizer. You're then going to draw lines to separate each letter. So you'll end up with four columns. All right, now when it comes to labeling the idea graphic organizer, you're going to use your guidelines to do that. So the first thing, I is for identify. So here is where you're going to identify what issue you're going to be talking about. D is for define with documents. So here is where you're going to collect document evidence to prove your enduring issue did in fact affect humans. E is where you're going to take your time to discuss the effects, right? How the issue affected humans. And then finally, the last column is where you're going to assess the overall impact of the issue, right? This is where you explain how much or how little the issue has continued to be a problem, how humans have responded, whether or not the issue has changed over time, right? So these bullet points become what you will fill in these columns. All right, so if we take a look, each column has a specific purpose when it comes to building your essay. I, identify, this is where you name your issue. And this becomes your introduction, your intro paragraph. The D and E columns, this is where you mean it. This is where you're going to use document evidence, use outside information in order to explain how the issue affected people, right? To kind of make it meaningful to your reader. These become your body paragraphs. Typically, you'll have three body paragraphs, one for each document you write about. Then finally, A is where you make it matter. This is where you assess, you know, were the society successful in addressing the issue? How much did it change over time? How little did it change over time and why? And this will ultimately become your conclusion paragraph. So the essay will typically have a total of five paragraphs. So again, you identify your issue by naming it. You mean it in your body paragraphs by defining and explaining it. And then you assess the overall impact of the issue and you make it matter.